Alrighty. I think we are good to go. Maybe. Finally. <laughs> I was having a lot of technical difficulty earlier and things just did not want to work at all. Not even a little bit. So, um, hopefully everything is going to continue working for us today. Um, the, the stream just did not want to connect earlier, but I think we are good to go. So, right now, as you can see, I am already on an island. We are looking for some awesome, awesome villagers, and I'm hoping that we can find some. I don't know how well it's going to end up working out for us. You can see I went ahead above me and to the side of me that we've put who we are looking for. And I tried to find some of the most popular ones that I've seen online that everybody's looking for. And the ones over here are the ones that everybody online really, really seems to want. Like, especially Raymond, everybody really wants him. And the ones above me seem to be pretty popular. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to search for some of these and see if we can find them. If we can't find them, that's okay. We'll just try again another day and go from there. Um, some of these I really liked as well. Like I thought Aurora was really cute. And of course, Julian here is a unicorn. And if I didn't try to search for this unicorn, my toddlers would probably murder me in my sleep. So we are going to go ahead and try to find all of those and see. Also, my um, audio, I know you can't hear the game, the cord that goes with my screen recorder isn't working. <laughs> and not only that, but my headphones that I have are also not working. So we're using the audio in the webcam. So I am sorry if the audio is really not that great, but I'm trying the best that I can. So hang with me. So Eric, you said you got Coco with your very first Nook Mile ticket. That's awesome. Um, Coco seems to be one that is very, very popular. So maybe we'll run into her. Is it a girl or a boy? It. I don't know. The bunny. Hopefully we run into them. Okay, so this is Norma that we just found. Like I said, we can't hear her voice or anything. So I'm really sorry about that. But stick with me. Hopefully things will get better. Um, I am new to this whole gaming YouTube community. So I'm working on it. I'm really working. Um, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, leave us a comment, and hit that subscribe button. We are actually mm -hmm. over 500 subscribers now, which is crazy considering that I basically just started doing this like 20 days ago. So that's crazy. Thank you for all of the support. Um, Norma is not one of the ones that I'm looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and head back home and see if we can find somebody else. Um, oh, by the way, here's all the Nook Mile tickets that I have. So. Um, I need to give a big shout out to my cousin who had like 900,000 Nook Mile points and came over and dropped me off a bunch of tickets. So thank you to my cousin Felicia. Um, if I ever make it big on YouTube, I'm buying you tacos. <laughs> so we'll see. Thank you, Eric, for the good luck. Let me know who your favorite, um, characters are. Who's your favorite, uh villager in this game or in other games so hi peter fox gamer i hate you that's cool not for everybody it happens doesn't bother me <laughs> that's cool so anyway in case you want to know um peter foxy gamers whatever your name is um if you don't like me it's probably best to not comment on my video because i do actually have other channels that are monetized and that I make a living off of and um, every time that you comment on my video it basically gives me a point. I ate cancer. Maybe it tastes good. I don't know. I am cancer. That's cool. Oops, I don't want to visit somebody. I want to go to this. I'm going to use another Nook Mile ticket. So, we are going to the next island. What? No, I'm sorry. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> you love me? That's cool. Love you too. <laughs> I 
I've been on the uh, YouTube community now for over four years, and I've heard a lot of things, so I don't really get hurt by my, like, my feelings don't get hurt when you say bad things. It just happens. It's okay. Thank you for apologizing, Peter. <laughs> so, Peter, who's your favorite character? Go to let us know. If you're here, I want to know your favorite character. Leave me a comment. I want to know them. All right. Guys, I don't know uh, if we're going to find any. I have a friend who has Meringue. And I have a friend who has Judy. But I don't think I've seen any of the other ones in real life. So. Or in real life. On the game. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We have... Is that Sky? I actually had Sky. Are you Sky? I don't know. Yeah. I actually had Sky visit my... Um, my campsite earlier on my other game. So in case you guys, um, I, I don't know if you've noticed yet or not, I um, have two systems. Um, one is the Nintendo Lite, and that's the one that I use for a lot of my tutorial videos that I've already showed you. You can't live stream with that, but you can with a regular Nintendo Switch, and that's what I'm using here. So I actually started a second game on this one, um, and Sky came on my other island, and I tried to keep her, but she kept trying to kick out Sprocket. I have Sprocket, and Sprocket is awesome. So, I didn't want to kick out Sprocket, but I would have liked to have Sky. There's some other characters I would have kicked out. I have, like, two or three of those Anteater um, characters. What are their names? Snooty and... I don't remember what the other one is. I have two of those. I'd kick them out. Does that mean? Does anybody feel guilty when you kick your characters out? Like, don't you just want to love all of them regardless? Sometimes it just makes me feel bad. All right, I want to fly. Peter says, add me in Animal Crossing. If you guys want to leave any of your friend codes down there and find each other, that's cool too. I don't have any issues with that. All right, time for takeoff. So how many characters are there? Somebody said there's over 400 characters. I haven't really looked into it a whole lot, but somebody said there's like 400 characters or something like that, which means the chances of us finding one of these is probably not great. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. It's going to be really funny if I land on like a really rare island or something while I do this. It is just raining, raining, raining everywhere. Raining all over the place. Oh my gosh. Are they, is there somebody on this one? Are they all the way at the top? Maybe. Did you guys hear also, also, um, that they've removed Hybrid Island and now they've also removed Finfish Island where you can get all the sharks? They removed all of those. Hey, you look cute. Rod. Okay, bye. See you later. <laughs> okay. Wonder how long and how many tickets we'll go through before we find somebody. We'll see. Let's go. So who all else is out there? Everybody leave us comments. Introduce yourself. If you're new, if you just showed up, I want to know your favorite character. Yeah, I just want to know your favorite character. You don't really have to tell me anything else. <laughs> That's it. Favorite character. Maybe like, what fruit do you have? I want to fly. Nook mile ticket. Time for takeoff. Oh 
Okay. Fingers crossed for a good one this time. <laughs> Your favorite character is Meringue. She's one of the ones I'm looking for. Um, I, yeah, you were here earlier. One of my friends has Meringue. She's super cute. Seems super friendly. I do like her. Lucky's kind of cute. All these ones are cute. I like these ones above me because they're all pink and cute and cuddly. <laughs> so, I don't know. I kind of search through um, different YouTube videos and different Facebook and Twitter pages and these are the ones that I found that people seem to like the most, but find Raymond. Raymond, I think, is Raymond, like, the character to get? I think Raymond is the character to get. Like, everybody wants Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> everybody seems to love him, so. If I find him, I'll keep him. I was kind of hoping maybe he'd just be one of the starters in my town, but he was not, so. Or that he would come into my campsite. I've never seen him. I don't know anybody that has him. I've seen people online get him, but I've never seen anybody get him. Nope, you're not our person. All right, so this is Gladys. She looks like a Gladys. <laughs> Definitely looks like a Gladys. <laughs> Does anybody have Gladys on their town or on their island? I don't. The ones on the top left are also ones that I'm looking for. I wanted to put the ones that I um, already have on here, but I couldn't fit them. <laughs> um, I have, gosh, who do I have? Um, I have Tank and I have um, like a, a peacock or an ostrich. What's her name? She's yellow. I can't remember her name. And I just got the mouse that looks like cheese cheddar that's their name and honestly I had two more people move in or animals move in and I haven't talked to them yet so <laughs> I don't even know who they are it's not any of these ones though um I can't remember oh one's a one is a cute mouse what's the what's it's like a blue mouse I don't know I'll show you <laughs> why don't I just do this So, um, let's see, I can just go to my map. Here we go. As you can tell, I haven't even opened the map yet. Um, so, here we go. I have Patty, Cheddar, Tank, this one, Phoebe, that's why I couldn't remember her name, Dora, and Al. I think Dora's really super cute. Cheddar's cute, too. I do like Phoebe. The rest are just meh, but we'll see. So anyway, like I said, I just um, restarted on this one. So there's that. So Meringue moved in from a person's island who I'm not friends with. And the island name is Foxy. So I'm on the hunt for whoever owns Foxy. So if you're watching and that's you, definitely hit them up. <laughs> I have a cheddar amiibo and I'm going to use them to kick out Meringue. Man, if you're going to kick out Meringue, I will come to your town and take Meringue. I will pay you for Meringue. Because everybody wants them. <laughs> Find me on Twitter <laughs> and message me. I'll come over and get meringue. Peter says, I'm sorry, but I don't speak English. That's okay. What language do you speak? Ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch, aber ich bin nicht so gut. Do you speak German? <laughs> That's about all I can do. Um, a little bit of German and English. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not going to be much help. I'm sorry. Okay, more Nook Miles. Um, and I don't have a dodo code since I'm traveling out, so I can't share a dodo code to come visit me right now. But um, I do want to say, if you're not a subscriber, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button because I'm planning on doing subscriber events. I'm actually going to, on nights that I have star showers or that turnips are high prices, um, anything like that. Maybe even if somebody um, moves out and somebody wants them, I'll do like a game. But when I do star showers and turnip prices and stuff, I'm actually going to come online live and I will put up the dodo code so that my subscribers can come in and we can do star showers together and we can sell turnips together. So I am going to be doing a lot of that. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of that. Alrighty. Let's see, who do we get this time? Okay, good person, good person, good person, who are you? Looks like a very, very, very 
sad penguin. Hey, Mr. Penguin, I don't like the rain either. It's been raining on every island, hasn't it? Nintendo servers are under maintenance, so you can't visit. Oh, so you can't visit anybody right now. So this is Boomer. Um, it seems like there's been a, not necessarily a lot of maintenance, but there's been a lot of times where I haven't been able to visit my friends. And I don't know if it's because they've been under maintenance or if it's just because of other issues. But, well, thanks for being a subscriber. So in 23 minutes. Okay. I'm ready to go home. Well, thanks, Eric, for subbing. I really appreciate everything that you guys are doing. I can't believe that we've gone up so many subscribers. I know it's not, like, a lot. Hi, Gracie, Gracie Lynn, is that how you say your name, or Grace Lynn? Grace Lynn, I don't know. I'm really, really, really bad at names, so I'm sorry if I say anybody's names wrong. Um, anyway, um, according to my YouTube analytics, I believe we've gone up over 300 subscribers in the past week, which is crazy, so thank you. Lorena, is that how you say your name? Thank you for subbing as well. You guys are all awesome. Why am I walking out here? I am just... In a different world right now, I guess. So, <laughs> we still haven't really found any of the people that we are looking for, but fingers crossed we're going to. <laughs> I hope so. All right, I want to fly. Hopefully it's not bothering you guys too much that um, you can't hear the game. I need to get a new, a new cord. That's driving me nuts, so I have to... I don't know. Do I want to order one from Amazon or do I want to throw on a mask and go to a store and get one? <laughs> All right. Time for takeoff. Have any of you guys had any good successes with um, uh, using Amiibos? Have you bought Amiibos? Have you made Amiibos? I saw that you can make Amiibos. I don't have an Android phone. You do need an Android phone apparently to do it because you need to be able to do like the RFID tags. I haven't tried it since I can't, but I'm curious to see if anybody's done it and it's worked and you've gotten your favorite characters that way. All right, we're on Bamboo Island. Actually, haven't gotten any bamboo trees over at the new place. Hello, I can't see you. Hi, sir. Velma, oh, that's a woman, sorry. I confess, I thought I might never run into anyone out here. Yep. Me too. And you're the, I'm the only person you're going to run into and I'm not staying. Bye. You bought Coco's Amiibo off Etsy. <laughs> How much did you have to pay for Coco's Amiibo? I saw, I think, was it Meringue? It might have been Meringue on eBay. And it was like $86 or something like that. Crazy. <laughs> But I guess if you love the character that much, why not? I really, really wanted the system, the Nintendo um, Animal Crossing Switch system. Couldn't get that. Now it's like $400 if you want it. But I really, really wanted that. All right, here we go again. <laughs> I want to fly. Would you guys like if I do the... Um, subscriber events like the star showers and stuff like that if I come on live and I share the code and then whoever can get in gets in and then every time somebody leaves another subscriber can get in oh you just got the the fish the um how do you even pronounce it colacanth is that how you pronounce it um I don't think that I've gotten one I, no I haven't caught one yet um I don't spend a lot of time fishing. You have Raymond if you want to come see. <laughs> I would definitely come see someday. And if Raymond ever gets packed in boxes, I'll just come take them off your hands. Or pay you for them. Or whatever. <laughs> so. Alright, let's find some people. Good, so Eric, you would like to do it. I think it'd be a lot of fun to be able to do that. I had a star shower the other day on this system. And it was the first star shower I've ever had. I went to my cousin's island. It was like, I don't know, maybe five days or so into the game. She got a star shower. 
And um, other than that, I've never even seen, I've not seen a single shooting star on my island. So there's that. Um, I have this many Nook Mile tickets. So but put these together now. So we've got about 40 Nook Mile tickets. Um, yeah, so that's what we're working with. And hopefully we'll find somebody. I'm probably not going to use all 40 of them right now, but Raymond is very polite. Is that why everybody likes him? I mean, he's kind of like dapper looking, right? <laughs> but yeah, I've never, I've never seen Raymond. And unfortunately with the sound being out, if I do meet them, we won't be able to like hear his voice or anything like that, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll run into him. Fingers crossed. Um, also leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of content you want. Do you want more tutorials on how to do uh, different designs, like different design tutorials, um, different ways to make money, different ways to terraform, different ways to, I don't know, transform islands into things. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I am, you've never seen a scorpion. Did you see my video about how to make scorpion island? If not, you definitely have to go check that out. And that's what I was going to say with the user events. I don't know if this is going to work because I haven't seen anybody do it. If you have seen somebody do it, let me know. Leave me a comment. I want to, when I get terraforming on this one, I want to completely flatten out this entire island and remove everything, including the water, and see if I can turn my own island into Scorpion Island. And if it works, I am coming on here and I will open it up to subscribers to let them come and just run around on my island for a couple hours and catch scorpions. I think it'd be awesome, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it'll work. I haven't seen anybody do it. I've seen people flatten their islands. I just don't know if you remove everything, if it will turn into like a scorpion island or a tarantula island, but I'm curious to see. Um, I have a video for making Scorpion Island, and then I also have a video for making Scorpion Island and then catching the scorpions during the day. So if you go out to any island, and regardless of whether or not you're trying to do scorpions or not, if you go out to any island, once you hit that island, the time doesn't change. So if you go there at 10 o'clock at night and you put your system onto the sleep setting and you get up and at like noon after you're done eating lunch, you turn the system back on, it still thinks it's 10 p.m. on the island, even though it's noon in real time. So you can still catch the scorpions or fish or anything that would have been in that time frame, which is really cool. So a lot of times what I do is I go to an island after my kids are in bed. So I have three kids, three toddlers. And after they're in bed, is that sky again? <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, after my kids are in bed, um, your, you, I go out to the island and then I just sit on the island until morning. And then when my kids are down for their nap, I can clear the island and catch all the scorpions. And that way I'm still able to do it and I'm not wasting my precious sleep time. So there's that. If you give me your friend's code, I can send you a Raymond poster. That could be fun too. <laughs> I'm not going to post it on here, but if anybody needs um, friend codes or dodo codes or catalog anything or whatever, um, you can definitely find me on Twitter and message me there and I can work with you. All right, time to go back home. In case anybody want, is wondering, I am sitting on the floor in my basement as I do this. So we got to make room. Our house isn't that big, so I don't really have a place to like set up a studio trying to do my best. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. How many Nook Mile tickets should I use tonight before we give up? Try again another day. I can't believe we ran into Sky twice with all the characters that you can run into and we run into the same character twice. That's crazy. I would also like to mention, I have to work at 4 a.m. Uh, so this is, this is gonna be tiring, but it's totally worth it and it's fun, right? Okay, where are we gonna land this time? 
All right, we are, is this the Swirly Island again? Oh no, it's not. Who are you? Monty. So here's Monty the monkey. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. Your money tree grew yesterday. How much did you bury? Did you bury the thousand that you got or did you bury 10,000 again? <clears throat> I decided that on my other system, I'm going to have to show you guys. I made a farm. It's a whole farm and then it's the orchards. And in the back of the orchard, I made like a money tree field and I just fenced it in so nobody can get to it. Hi, is it Kay? Kai? Sorry, if you weren't here earlier, I'm really bad with names. Really, really bad. <laughs> Hi, Dollhousey. I'm glad that you're doing good, Brittany. If you're new and you just showed up here, let me know your favorite islander, your favorite character. And if you didn't hear me say earlier, if you're not a subscriber, definitely hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a lot of subscriber events where I invite you guys over to my island for star showers and turnips and scorpions and all kinds of fun games. So definitely do that. So I time traveled and in 26 tickets. Cool. Oh man, you got a lot of them. We haven't done 26 tickets yet, but I feel like I'm going to get to that point and still have nobody. You can't seem to find Marshall. Which one is Marshall? Oh, is he? No, who is Marshall? Listen, my kids are in a Paw Patrol, so when I think Marshall, I just think Marshall from Paw Patrol. <laughs> Brittany is new. Hi, Brittany. Welcome along. My favorite villager is Canabera. I don't know if I know that one. So far, mine, mine is Diana out of all the ones that I have. But that could always change as we get some new characters here. See if we can find any more. Your favorite is Dom. Favorite is Ava. Very cool. Lots of options. I love how there's so many to pick from. Thank you for subbing. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. So far I'm finding that all of you guys with the Animal Crossing and everything, all of my subscribers from Animal Crossing, you guys are just awesome. Like everybody just has the same goals and everybody wants to... Uh, Hi there, you're cute. Um, everybody wants to help everybody and whatnot, and I think it's awesome, which isn't something that I typically find. I have a, um, a work channel that I do for my work from home jobs, and I also have a family vlogging channel, and people are not so friendly over there <laughs> at all. As soon as you do one parenting mistake, the whole world is on top of you. Ready to go home. Let's go home. I'm thinking we're not going to find anybody good this time. Makes me sad. The really, really disappointing thing, too, is that when you don't have, like, when you don't find anybody good, you know that spot in your island is going to fill up with some random character and you can't pick who it is but you can't go back and redo it. So once that spot's filled, it's not like I can do this again until I get another spot, you know? Now, I've intentionally on this one not built all my houses so that if we don't find somebody and it gets filled, then I'll just build another house and then we have a, a spot available again. But it's still kind of a bummer. The thing is, though, it's not their business they or your children. That is 100% true. Thank you. Yes, people get really uppity about the way that other people parent their children, and it's not cool. Just let everybody parent the way they want. We're all trying our best, right? <laughs> so, and my kids, in case anybody wants to know, I have three girls, and my oldest is three. So I have three kids, three and under, the baby is getting ready to turn one. Life is crazy. Life is very crazy. 
So I am very thankful for all of your support with all of this because I am busy and it's hard to put out good quality videos. So I'm very thankful that I'm getting a lot of people that are liking them. Okay, still not what we want. I feel guilty though with some of them. They're like, I need a place to live. And I'm like, see ya. <laughs> Makes you feel kind of bad on the inside. And I know that they're just fictional characters, but still kind of hurts your heart a little bit. Has anybody tried to kick out a character? There's some new data mining out that's showing certain ways that you can, at least they're saying, definitely kick characters out, but I haven't tried it to make sure it works. Does anybody have any yellow lilies? I do have yellow lilies on my main account, not on this one. There, Eric has a bunch as well. All right, let's find another one. Where do you want to go? Use Nook Mile tickets. If you send me a message on Twitter, I can definitely get you items that you need. Or if anybody else wants to connect, that's awesome as well. But yeah, I can definitely try to help people out if you need something. So don't be afraid to find my Twitter and message me. So lilies were your, um, were your native flower. On my main account, I had windflowers, and on this one, we have tulips. And I finally got a black rose. Whoa, you're definitely not what we're looking for, but you're definitely an interesting looking creature over here. Who are you? Vic. Vic the Viking. My husband would love this one. I'm not sure if he's watching. Danny, if you're watching, here's a Viking character for you. <laughs> This would be the character he would want. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that character, ever. You have roses. I really like mums. Um, I think they're pretty, but they're really hard for me to get. I don't get them very often. I will have to do another video. I need to do an island tour on the other island because I did hit five stars and I meant to do an island tour and then kind of all of my technology stopped working. Believe it or not, I have four computers and like none of them are working. It's kind of really bad. So we're trying, but oh, why do I keep leaving? I don't know why I keep leaving. I'm tired. <sighs> okay. Do you guys think whenever I whenever I hit a thousand subscribers, if I ever hit a thousand subscribers, that I should do like a million bell giveaway? Would that be fun? Or will it be by that point will people be like a million bells? Pfft. That's that's too little. I want to fly. Hi, Beverly. You like the guide for hunting the scorpions during the day. Help me realize I can just pick up the flowers and leave the stem things. Yes, that is, that's a, that's a big deal when you're trying to collect things that are worth like 8,000 bells to get that extra space. So I'm glad that that was helpful. Thank you for letting me know. I always love hearing from you guys, the things that you like and the, those things are helpful. It really helps validate all of the time that I put into those videos, especially with having so many kids. So I am definitely very, very grateful for every single one of your positive comments that you guys leave me. I love hearing from you. So definitely leave me comments. And I love responding back. Your Animal Crossing just updated. Is that the, the server update that somebody was talking about earlier? I guess we'll see. It's not going to update while I'm playing, but we'll see. Maybe once I'm done with this, I can go out and exit and see if it does update. I just want to find a good character. 
I also really want to do a video soon about how to access different islands. So you guys probably know that there's islands that are more rare than other islands. Hey, this one's cute. Who are you? Tia, you're cute. Okay. Her name's Tia and her head looks like a teacup. <laughs> Love that. Um, anyway, I want to do a video on how to access different islands because I did see some data mining that happened where there are certain islands that you can only access when you're holding certain items and it increases the chance of you getting those different islands like Scorpion Island or Money Rock Island. So I think I want to um, do a little bit more research on that and get you guys a video on how to do that so you can try to get your odds for better islands. Just caught a turtle. He's now my pet and I named him Bobbert. <laughs> Love it. Um, when the game first came out, um, oh, Tia, Tia is one of your dream villagers. Oh man, I should have just brought her back and you could have come taken her later. <laughs> Um, Tia is pretty awesome. I do like her. She's cute. Anyway, my sister um, caught a snapping turtle um, within the first couple days of the game being out. She accidentally set her system to be in the southern hemisphere instead of the northern hemisphere. And so her animals and fish and everything were totally different. Um, like she could, she could catch sharks on day one, which is really cool. And she caught a snapping turtle and she put it on display by her airport. And then she put her dodo code on Twitter, telling people that she was in the Southern Hemisphere and that they could come fishing for sharks. And she just had this overload of people come into her island. And a couple of people, when they got there, they saw the turtle and tried to catch it with their bug net, thinking that it was real and that they could just catch it like that. <laughs> and so she just had people whacking away at this turtle with a bug net. And it was so funny. So funny. <laughs> All right, so everybody switches updating. So I guess that server update is patching some things. So we're going to have to see what they're patching and what they're adding. So hopefully nothing too crazy. Hopefully they haven't patched Scorpion Island. <laughs> if so, I'm going to have to find you guys a new way to do it. You're in the Southern Hemisphere. Do you actually live in the Southern Hemisphere or do you just have your system set to the Southern Hemisphere? My sister does not. My sister lives close to Washington, D.C., and that is not in the Southern Hemisphere at all. Okay. Let's go up. I don't know why I'm getting my ladder out this way. So you can't see any animals when I go to the desert, deserted island. Nook my out tickets. Yes, so you have to have a available plot in your island before one will show up. Um, even if you have a campsite and the campsite's not occupied, they still won't show up here. You have to have somebody who's moving out or moved out, and then you can travel around to the islands and find somebody you like. If you can't find somebody you like, eventually it's just going to get filled with a random character like the rest of them have. But yeah, essentially, if you don't have any open plots on your island, you won't see any of these animals on your mystery islands. You made it for the Southern Hemisphere. See, that was a good idea. I didn't even think about it whenever I did it. And my sister did it by accident. I'm not really sure how she made the mistake, but she did do it by accident. But it ended up being okay. And now, fun fact, she doesn't even play the game right now. She actually has a book that she wrote, um, a novel that was selected as a winner of a contest and so she's editing this book um, to hopefully be picked up by a like real deal publisher um, which is really really cool so I don't get to play Animal Crossing with my sister anymore but that is really cool I think so no problem Beverly hopefully that helps um, apparently there are ways now to kick out characters so if you want to kick somebody out there's methods of doing it. I don't know 100% what it is yet, but I'll test them out and I'll let you guys know. So, like I said, I always kind of feel guilty. I don't, I don't know why. I know they're not real characters with real feelings, but sometimes I just feel guilty when I'm mean to them. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. 
she's very excited about it. So I hope it works. I hope it works out well for her. She actually was, um, she graduated with a film degree and she was working in LA and now she's doing this book. So fingers crossed it works out. Okay. Come on. Somebody good. Let's see. Still not what we want, but that's okay. They're cute too. How many tickets have we gone through? We started with 40 some. Oh jeez. Okay. We might have to end up getting some new uh, tickets by the time we find somebody. Has anybody else here gone island to island looking for somebody? I've seen a lot of people doing it online, but I've never really seen... I mean, I guess I've seen a couple people say that they found them, but a lot of times I just see people using the amiibo cards. So, I don't know. I'm hoping it works out in my favor, but so far we're not getting too lucky. But at least I get to talk to you guys, so that's awesome. You guys are all like my best friends. This is my social hour because we're all in quarantine. And I do have three kids, so I don't get out to talk to people. <laughs> Okay, let's head to another one. Okay, time for takeoff. Should I look up how much it would cost to get Amiibo cards on eBay as we're here? I'm flying out and we'll look up some Amiibo cards. You're going to try to get Raymond or Marshall, Beverly, if you get another plot. That would be awesome if we could find them. I'd take Marshall, too. I'll take anybody cool, really. But I guess I'm just going to have to pick somebody here within the next hour or so and just go with it if we can't find somebody. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, let's see. How about Raymond? Um, Raymond, Animal Crossing, uh, Amiibo. Amiibo. There we go. We'll see. Oh, this is not, not at all. Raymond Ultimate Villager Package. I don't even know what that means. Rare Villager Raymond. Quick reply, quick delivery. $5. Oh, so you can just buy Raymond from somebody for $5. <laughs> no, I don't want to go home yet. Okay. Who'd you get? You have Raymond and you don't want him? Yes, he seems like the one everybody wants. Okay. Wait, is it... Isn't this literally just the same character I saw on the last island? Like, it's the exact same character, back to back. Why are you wasting my Nook Mile tickets like this? Oh, man. That's my luck. I really actually do have the worst luck you would ever imagine. It's really bad. What if we did a villager swap? That would be really cool. The only problem is with that is that you have to have the villager moving out already and a spot in your area to do that. It would be really, really cool if we could do that or like even just set up a Facebook group for it where we can just trade villagers that are moving out. Um, the hard thing would be is if we wanted to do a actual trade event on like a single day where just everybody's trading back and forth, we'd have to do a lot of time traveling. And um, I don't time travel on my other account. I will on this one just because I use it for YouTube. Uh, but that could that could be fun if it would work. It'd be really nice if we could do that. I did create a Facebook group. I actually think it's in the description box of the video and I haven't really been promoting it. I think there's like two people in it and I was like, well, I'll just run this Facebook group for Animal Crossing and then I haven't done anything with it. So if you guys are interested in that, you can go ahead and join it and we can make it active and talk back and forth and swap villagers and items and stuff in that Facebook group. And then, like I said, you guys can always find me on Twitter, too, if you have any questions or, 
you need anything, I am on Twitter. Very lucky with getting Annabelle, the colorful ant eater, on the second Nook Mile ticket. I have two of the ant eater ones on my other island. They're all right. Okay, let's see. Can't see somebody pink. No, I don't want that. I need my stick. Thank you. Okay. Vladimir. <laughs> I wish I had sound right now to hear what Vladimir sounds like. <laughs> Why don't you make a Discord server? I could. I've actually never made a Discord server, and I've I've never actually been on anybody's Discord server. Um, so I can definitely look up how to do that and see what I need to do to set one up. I don't really know a whole lot about them, which is crazy. My degree is in cybersecurity. I have a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity, and then I also have my certification in special education. And uh, once I got my special ed certifications, I kind of like dropped off the face of the earth with technology. So I don't know a whole lot about discords anymore, but I'll look into it and see what I can do. Definitely an idea. Yeah, look into it. Can definitely sort that out tomorrow and see what we can find. I want to fly. We are not finding anybody good. And it, with my luck, I'm going to find the exact same character. Like, Vladimir is going to be on the next island. It's really easy and free. Well, that is good to hear. I like free because I'm not making any money doing this, <laughs> which is cool. I don't care. I don't need to make money to do it. It's fun regardless. All right. What do you think? Are we going to find somebody good at this next island? What do we think? Yes, no, maybe. Fingers crossed. Hoping. <laughs> I wish that I could just pick up all the characters that you like, you guys like on the way and just kind of throw them over to you. That'd be awesome. Hey, also, while we're here, do you guys like streaming at night like this or do you guys prefer something more during the day because... I was thinking about streaming again on Saturday and Sunday. My husband's actually off Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Um, and I can actually do some streams during the day around lunchtime, Eastern time, while my kids are doing, doing their naps. And I'm wondering if you guys prefer something during the day like that or if you like these nights. I bet you 100K bells it will be Raymond. Listen, it's not Raymond, but if it was, a, if it was Raymond, I'll, I'll send you over a million bells. But it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> but that would be cool. What do you think? Do you think we can do like an online Animal Crossing betting gambling stream of some sort? And just... <laughs> we can all like bet on things and whoever wins gets the pot. <laughs> it's 3.10 a.m. for you. What are you doing? Go to bed. <laughs> 7 p.m. in your time zone. Are you in California? Somewhere over there? You live in Australia, so now please. You guys are all over the place, aren't you? That's awesome, though. I love that we're connecting a bunch of people from all over the world. That's really cool. It's awesome that you guys were able to find me. Such a, a little channel, and you guys are all here. Is that the Tarantula Island? The one that I'm on now? Um, the one that I'm on now is not Tarantula Island or Scorpion Island. Um, this is, I don't really know exactly what it's called. I call it like the Swirly Island, um, which I land on a lot. A lot. Um, and um, it's the one that, I, that I've done a couple times for scorpion island or tarantula island because it is flat in one tier so it's really easy to do as long as you remove everything and if it's raining it's even better but you do get a lot of like the water bugs in here so that kind of that kind of stinks um tarantula and scorpion islands are usually just a big round island with no water um the last time i was on scorpion island it did have like four little like tiers or like 
it's a circle like this and then it had like four points on it that were a second tier so yeah oh man so k or is your name is that how you say k you're in the uk i've been to the uk a couple times i was in um basildon essex area and london that's kind of it <laughs> And then um, I took the train over to Paris, France for a single day. And I spent the pretty much entire day in line to get up to the top of the Eiffel Tower, which was just swamped with people. Why do I keep going out here? It was swamped with people and it was really hot. And at the time, it was when America was having its whole freedom fries meltdown where France was really angry at America for the whole French fry thing. They would not talk to me. They wouldn't talk to me because I had an American accent, but they would talk to my friend because he had a British accent. <laughs> but they wouldn't talk to me. So it's cool. All right. See, my daughter's name is Kaylee, and I call her Kay, so that's why I want to say Kay. <laughs> You're from Canada, the land of the moose. Yep, I've been there too. I've also been to Maine, and there's a lot of moose in Maine, that's for sure. How long does it take for villagers to clean up their stuff when they first move in? I have Weber, and he's been unpacking all day, but I want to know. So they will move in and they'll have their boxes all spread out all over the house until the, the next morning. So once you get up tomorrow, they'll be totally moved in. And it's the same thing when they move out. So when they move out, they might tell you one day, hey, I'm thinking about moving out. And if you say, cool, move out, I'll find somebody new. The following day, they'll have everything packed up in boxes and they'll be in boxes the whole day. And then the following day after that, it will not be there anymore. So... Bye, Eric. Have a good night. Or morning, or I forget what time you said it was. Canada. Night. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, that is a rooster or a chicken or something. Hi. Ava. My sister really liked Amelia, who was, I think, a chicken or something um, in the original. I don't Is she still in the game? So... Yes, Eric, I cannot wait for the sub-event either. And no problem, Beverly. Glad to answer all those questions. Um, yeah, Amelia. She really liked Amelia. And I don't know that Amelia is in this one anymore. So, unfortunately, are you ready to go? We are ready to go. Yep. Okay. We're just not finding anybody good. We're going to have to come back and do it again. Amelia is an eagle. There we go. <laughs> Amelia is something. Is she in this one? Or did they kind of get rid of her? I don't really remember. Like, I remember, um, I remember her, kind of, but, like, I mean, we were really little. Um, the ones that are on the screen are the ones that we're looking for, yes. So I just couldn't, like, fit them all on one side or all up there. I was worried if I fit them all up there, they'd be too small. Um, I went online to find some of the most popular ones, and the ones that are over here are the really, really, really popular ones. And the ones up here are the ones that are, like, semi-popular. And then Julian over here is just for my kids because they like unicorns. So there's that. <laughs> you want an eagle villager um too bad you can't get like apollo yeah i guess you can get apollo he's on here from the pocket camps but you can't transfer over so alrighty guys i think this is going to be my last one if you just heard the dinging my laptop just gave me a warning that it's going to shut off soon so um i hopefully it doesn't do it in the middle of the stream here but um, I don't want to overdo it. So 
we'll make this the last one and if this doesn't work we will definitely come back and do another one hopefully we get somebody good here kind of makes me sad though because if i don't pick this one then it's just going to be filled with somebody random and then we'll just have to come back tomorrow and see who we got nope you're not one of the ones we wanted but let's see who are you zell okay we'll take you that was actually my nickname in high school is that weird zell that was my nickname so there's that hi there so we're just going to see if she he she wants to come adventure yeah oh by the way i should um mention if you saw the name the name of my character is sky and the island is called adventure and that's because of paw patrol my kids named it so it's named after paw patrol Good idea. I'm really glad you're welcoming me like this. I'll just jump through the normal hoops, I guess. The contact Tom Nook. Sounds good. Okay, so I guess this is who we're going to get. Yep. Another one of your dream villagers? Oh man, I'm finding all of them. Maybe this is what you have to do. You just need 40 Nook Mile tickets and just keep going and going and going. <laughs> Uh, well, if she moves out in boxes, I'll definitely have to hit you up and you can come get her or him, her. I'm not sure. I can't hear the voice. But that's funny, finding all of them. Zell is destiny. <laughs> you probably. That's true. And the last one, too. So at least there's that. So, alrighty, guys. Well, I guess that's going to be it for this one. I am going to head out because my computer is going to die and I have to work at four in the morning. So. I am tired and I'm going to need a lot of coffee tomorrow to get through the day, but this was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for everybody who is watching. I definitely love talking to all of you. So leave me comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Again, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate all of it. Bye guys. Bye, bye, bye. It doesn't want to end, so we're going to dance. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance. Bye.